Hello and welcome. I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy and this is a new playlist. This is the opening video for a playlist that will be simply titled alternatives. All right. So as the name suggests in this playlist, there will be reviews of dipping tobacco alternatives. So I had talked about this this past month and it had been something that I knew I'd eventually have to get to. I wasn't overly keen on it because I'm not trying to quit tobacco, basically. Uh, that and a lot of products that would come under this category have no nicotine in them. That said, there are some that do. And those products will be what is in this playlist. So the products are dip alternatives, okay? I'm not doing nicotine pouches. I'm not doing mint leaves in a can with no nicotine. I'm not doing that. This is dip-like products that have full nicotine, all right? I have the first four in front of me right now, and I will show them to you. Uh, keep in mind in this playlist, though, I will not be doing a opening video for every group I get in. All of these will be in one playlist, sort of like the dry snuff. Unlike the dry snuff, these are going to just come in as I see fit. In the dry snuff playlist, every time I get a new group in, because they're coming in from overseas, I sort of doing opening video for that group even though all the groups, which there's four of them now, are on the same playlist. This is gonna be the only opening video, all right? And from time to time, after these original four, a new one will pop up. Now, as I said, I am only doing products that have nicotine in them. So there are not going to be a whole lot of these. There's about four companies that I can think of off the top of my head that have nicotine dip alternative products and only one of them has a really big selection although I'm having a feeling a couple of the other companies will grow steadily with their products but right now this is going to be very limited but people have asked me about this almost from the very beginning of this channel I started getting questions about the one um, and then a couple of them have actually grabbed my attention like hmm I wonder what that's about so the first four in the order that they will appear the first one probably being within the next week week and a half the first one will be fully loaded full nicotine strength long cut straight all right now I say, or I'm making a point of saying full nicotine strength. Most of these products, each one, like the long cut straight of this, has three products. All right. There is the full nicotine, there is a half nicotine, and I believe fully loaded is coming out with a no nicotine. If you were trying to step down nicotine, that's basically what all these companies are doing. They're at least doing full nicotine, half nicotine. Uh, I believe Fully Loaded is going to be coming out with a no nicotine, and I believe at least one of the other companies is doing that right now. So this is the first one. I am sticking with straight, or as close to straight as I can get for these first reviews because I am a straight everyday dipper, and I thought I'd be able to judge how close they are to dip better if it was a flavor that I was familiar with, basically. So the Fully Loaded comes in at one, and then after that, the Fully Loaded has been out for a while. In fact, I, that was already on online sites, I believe, when I started this channel in September of 2018. All right. The second one is newer. Uh, it, I, I only took notice of it a couple months ago. But the second one is White Tail. Again, straight, and this is the full nicotine product. If you want to see a review of Whitetail and can't wait, 
I believe Berg's over at Berg's Dip Reviews has already done at least one review, most likely more of Whitetail products. All right, so that'll be number two. Now, number three is not a long cut. These, these two are long cut, all right? And they are both mint leaves based. I know this because both of those have ingredients lists on the packaging. The third one is not a long cut. Uh, the name of the company is uh, Amarillo Snuff Company. And when they say snuff, I believe they are actually making, I, I have not opened it yet. I believe it to be cut like a snuff. So this will be number three. From Amarillo Snuff Company. This is one that I have just heard about recently, within the last two weeks. All right. I got the original. There was not a straight available. I'm guessing, I'm going to guess, go out on a limb and say that this is probably a natural. But there was no option for a straight because they don't have one. All right. Uh, I don't know much about the company. I do know that is a company that definitely has full nicotine, half nicotine, and no nicotine products. It is only online to the best of my knowledge. All right. And then the fourth one, and one that has created some buzz in certain sectors, is Black Buffalo. Long cut straight. If you want to see a Black Buffalo review, go over to Snuff Strings, uh, and Trey does do one of their Blood Orange. I went with the straight. Um, he had a favorable review of them. They have a very nice packaging. As you can see, that is a metal can. Uh, Packaging-wise, it, it, it really looks good, but there are a couple things that are questionable in my mind. And I'll explain that to you right now. Number one, th these two, the first two, they have ingredients lists on them. They're mint leaves, based at least. This one does not, but I believe, and I'll have to go check, that it is on the website, the, the ingredients. The Black Buffalo, though, they won't say what their base product is, like what, what they're using, like mint leaves. or They won't say. They just say it's found in all grocery stores throughout the country, and it's a trade secret. That tells me one of two things. Number one, this is going to be really good, and I won't be able to tell the difference between it and tobacco. Or two, and the more likely scenario... They're afraid of putting in type what they're using. Because, yeah, it's something that you can find in any grocery store in America. I, I can think of some things that could be found in any grocery store in America that, personally, I don't want to put in my mouth. But we will see. That will be the last one. Uh, now, I may run depending on how popular these are. I may run through this initial four to give this playlist content. I may run through them faster than I normally would. Normally, you'd probably only be seeing one review of these every couple, two to three weeks. I may run through these faster. It sort of depends what the views are like and whatnot. Again, we'll see. We'll have to see. Anyway, so that's it. The first one will be fully loaded. Then Whitetail. AKA Deer Dip. Then Amarillo Snuff Company's original. And then Black Buffalo. This is not the main video tonight. That I'm going to get started on momentarily. So I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon. God bless.